Hey everyone, welcome back to the Building Your First Lens tutorial series. If you're watching this video, that means you're ready to publish your first lens. If not, then you should probably go back a video. Let's dive right in and get your lens published. We're going to click on the Project Settings button at the top left. The first thing we need to do is name our lens. I'll call this one My First Lens. The platform settings should be fine, so the next thing you'll want to do is create a lens icon. We can click the plus icon where the placeholder lens icon is, and it'll bring up this cool tab where we can use AI to create our icon. I'm going to type in watercolor painting and click generate. You'll see that we can change the style. I'm going to select the watercolor style and then click regenerate. And that icon looks pretty cool, so I'll select it, then click apply. Here you can adjust the cropping, then click Save. Awesome, so we are almost ready to hit the Publish button, but we need a preview. We can do this easily by going to the Preview tab, then clicking on one of the options and it'll auto-generate for you. Perfect, now we can hit the Publish button and it'll bring up the web page where you can submit the lens. It'll ask you to select an organization and lens folder. This is where you'll select your snap profile, and if you haven't already, make a new lens folder to put it in. Then you'll click Submit, and it'll bring you to the Lens Details page. Here you can add categories and tags to help people find your lens when they search. I'll pick Colors and Light and Moods for my categories, and then I'll add some tags that might describe this lens, like Watercolor, Mustache, and Elephant. Once everything looks good, you can hit Publish, and then select the visibility that you want. Normally, you'll want to go public so that everyone can use your lens, but sometimes, if you're making a lens for a client or don't want other people to use it just yet, you can choose the hidden option. You can also opt in to the Lens Creator Rewards program, which will pay you for your creations if they get enough engagement. Now, you're finally ready to hit that publish button, and you are all done. Your lens will go through review, and you should get an email shortly telling you that your lens is live and ready to use. Once you get the email, just click the link, and it'll open your lens in Snapchat. Congratulations, everyone, on creating your first Snapchat lens in Lens Studio. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed learning about the wonderful world of AR.